We're here at the Intel booth at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, speaking with Jonathan Wood about 5G. Behind us, we've got Rise of the Tomb Raider being played, and I think this is a really good example of what 5G can do because not only does it speak to the high throughput that you see, but also the low latency. Absolutely, Sean. You know, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to show to, to, the, to the CES visitors what 5G is capable of. And one of the great things that we have in terms of new use cases is really providing really high quality gaming on devices that you would traditionally see on the high street. So we're not talking high-end PCs here and gaming machines. We're talking very straightforward PCs. And the way we do that is that we're actually bringing that compute closer to the device using low latency. So when you get down to sub 10 millisecond type speed, Sean, we're capable of getting compute very close to the device, and therefore we can rely on that computing to take place on the edge of the network, not necessarily on the device. And that provides fantastic graphics experience for our users. Yeah, as our viewers can see behind us, we're essentially seeing a console-like experience, but on an Intel 2-in-1. So this speaks to how mobile gaming can really perpetuate throughout the market and create a lot of value for consumers. Absolutely. I mean, one of the things that we're really going to try and scale any of these no-new technologies is we have to find a price point and we have to find an optimal uh, capability that's going to be able to be available to the masses. When we look at this cloud gaming use case, where we're having the gaming taking place on an edge server, doing all the hard compute and hard processing, that makes life a lot easier for everybody. Yeah, this is an important point about the uh, move of the functionality we typically think about uh, in a data center out to the edge of the network so that these users can really take full advantage of the latency and the responsiveness that 5G will enable. Precisely, and what we're showing here right now is a KB Lake uh, processor that we're putting into an edge server. That powerful processor with a Radeon uh, graphics engine that we have in there, we're now making that available to anybody that is very close and can actually access and log into this Play Giga application that's running in the background here. So if we take this same paradigm, Jonathan, the combination of a commercial 5G network, and this is a live connection behind That's correct, us, it's a live network, yeah. Coupled with edge compute build out, what are some of the use cases that you also see really driving impact, not just for consumers, but also into the enterprise segment? I think that's a great point because, you know, the fight, media, media graphics, very, very obvious one where we look at that from, from, from a gaming use case. But think about anything that's looking at computer graphics. And there are many industrial use cases from, from, from facial recognition technology that we're seeing now, from uh, AI type capabilities that we need to do and workflows associated with that. That requires a lot of processing and compute. Now, if we can do that at the edge of the network, that kind of changes the kind of devices that we would see. If you look at industrial automation and robotics, again, we do not need to be putting Xeon servers into every robot. We can actually do that through a client edge server and use an edge compute. If we look at augmented reality in a situation where we're looking at glasses and capabilities like that, we can actually provide that compute very, very close to where the application is being consumed. And so in the US and key markets in Europe and the Asia Pacific region, operators are really poised to invest heavily in deploying commercial 5G in 2019. And it looks like Intel's ready to support those efforts today. We're absolutely ready and we work very closely with that ecosystem because Intel actually provides an end-to-end -end capability. We are obviously well known for a compute. Uh, 5G is all about data. We're working with them very closely to ensure that they build out the capabilities in those networks so they can really take advantage of these new types of services. The wireless piece is a real significant game changer with a low latency, but when you're adding in all the other elements of this with the improvements and enhancements with compute, then you really have a, a, you know, a, a complete end-to-end -end network that is ready for prime time for 5G. So Jonathan, are you a gamer? I am a gamer. I wouldn't say I'm the best at Tomb Raider. I prefer other games, but I love to game. But one of the things I find challenging when it's been gaming is I don't have the time to actually sit on a high-end machine. What's great right now, I can do it on a mobile. I've been in a position I can do that on my work PC when I have that time. But yeah, absolutely, what a great thing to go do. So in a few years, as Edge and 5G really scale out and we're taking autonomous transport, we'll also be able to hone our mobile gaming skills on way to work, right? Precisely. I mean, you, you mean the, 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 the options are, and opportunities are endless, right? If, you've got, if you're in an autonomous world right now, particularly in cars, not just about gaming, but you think about the experiences where with new improvements in display technology as well. And if you're in a vehicle, the ability to actually interact with different things requires connectivity. It requires that level of, 
immediacy, and that's what we're going to get with, with 5G and other advancements, as you pointed out quite correctly, on things like autonomous driving. It's an exciting time. It really is an exciting time, and I feel like so much of the conversation around 5G is couched in the future, but it's really not about the future anymore. Absolutely. It's about today. Yeah, I mean, that's great. I mean, that's what this show, if I look back a couple of years ago when I first started attending these consumer electronic shows, those mobile shows, we really had early, early concepts. You're seeing this on a live network. You're seeing the actual availability of, you know, here is the boards that were actually commercially available to enable this. So this is, a, this is something that the ecosystem can get their, get their hands around and the operators can start thinking about how they build their networks for prime time commercialization, which is going to be taking place this year into next year. So it's a really, really current and, and, and opportunity for us to go for, go after. Well, Jonathan, I really appreciate you taking the time to explain to us how Intel is bringing 5G and Edge to bear on mobile gaming. Fantastic, thank you. <laughs>